Dirt bike wheels are incredibly strong, uh, so long as you keep the spokes correctly tensioned. So in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, tension the spokes using a torque wrench. If you have an older bike, uh, you might find that uh, some of those spoke nipples are seized up. Uh, so before doing the, uh, the spoke torque setting, you should go around the whole wheel. Make sure uh, none of the uh, spokes are seized. Um, if, it, if it is seized, it's not going to give an accurate torque setting. So make sure they all turn freely. And I think if you do the uh, spoke torque setting as uh, part of your regular bike maintenance, um, it will prevent them seizing up. So I, I would uh, recommend doing it uh, probably, you know, you don't need to do it every ride, but uh, maybe when you change the oil or something like that, also check the uh, spoke tension. To adjust the spoke torque, uh, you're obviously going to need a torque wrench. I use this one made by Tornichi, and I set it to uh, 5.4 newton meters. Um, I'm using a 6.8 millimeter head ma made by Fast, and I had to make an adapter uh, to convert the Fast fitting to my torque wrench fitting. Uh, one important thing if you decide to make one yourself like this is uh, you need to space the head uh, the correct uh, distance away from the torque wrench. I uh, looked it up on the data sheet of the uh, torque wrench, made sure this is the correct distance. Um, you can also buy spoke torque wrenches, which uh, if you don't have access to a lathe, that's probably the best thing to do. When I purchase a new bike, um, one of the things I always do after the first ride is to adjust the spokes on the wheel. And if you're doing it for the first time, um, there's a particular method you should use to make sure you don't pull the wheel uh, rim out of alignment. Uh, so I'm going to show that. Uh, you should start at an uh, easy to remember reference point. So I'm going to use this valve as my reference. And I'm going to start adjusting this spoke. So make sure your torque wrench is working the, the correct orientation and start talking. Now that's already at talk so it's not moving. If it was loose um, I would recommend you tighten it a maximum of half a turn. So tighten it and then skip two spokes. So just tighten that one, skip that one, that one and next tighten this one. That's pretty much talked as well. Um, the reason you skip two is this the first spoke you, you tensioned is uh, going to the this side and you skip two this spoke is pulling the other way and by doing that you can balance the tension and it doesn't pull the rim out of alignment and then skip two again and carry on going round talking and skipping two spokes at a time so work your way right round the wheel come back to the the valve, the reference point, and then start on the next one along and skip to again. Go right round, start on the next one, skip to, and once you've done that three times, you should have been round the wheel um, on all the spokes and it should be fairly well balanced. If it's very loose, you might need to do it uh, a couple of times to get every spoke tensioned. But don't tighten any spoke more than about uh, half a turn maximum. Once you've talked all the spokes after your first ride, um, you should come back and periodically um, check that all, all the spokes are tensioned correctly. Um, and once you've done it once using the skip two spoke method, uh, you can just go around all the spokes and check them in order which is what I'm going to do now. Um, so just go around. If you do come across a spoke that's very loose, um, like in the initial setting, don't just crank on it. Um, I would only do a quarter to a half turn maximum and check all the others, then come back and recheck.
So it only takes a minute or two to check the spokes, uh, but it's super important for keeping the wheels running straight.